All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be going over my favorite NBA plays for today. Uh, we got a decent amount of games, a whole bunch of games, actually. And some of these games, are, I guess one of them starting a little bit earlier than usual, 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's like an hour early um, than the typical 7, 7 p.m. Uh, start time. So you guys will have you know a decent amount of time to still get these in. Um, but I am filming this a little bit later in the day. So hopefully, you know, you guys see this one and uh, we get, you know, attack some value on the board. But if you're new, definitely go ahead and subscribe. We just passed 5,000 subscribers. Crazy to think that we're on the road to 10,000 now. Um, absolutely ridiculous. Can't thank you guys enough for that. Like the video so more people can see it. And then comment down below if you like one of these picks, if you're tailing the whole slip, um, or if you don't like one of these picks. Anything helps, uh, you know, get people seeing this. So uh, let's go over our video plays from last time. We went over uh, five guys. Uh, Denny Advia very much went under for us. Great call there. CJ McCollum uh, got there for the fantasy score. He's been crushing that line. KD gets... The Suns get crushed by the uh, Knicks. Jalen Brunson goes for 50 in that game. Um, so, you know, he's, Kevin Durant still played, honestly, his typical minutes. They're on 35 minutes. Didn't get there for us in a tough matchup where uh, there wasn't a whole lot of rebounding on the on the Suns' side of the ball because, um, you know, the, the Knicks were hitting their shots, almost put up 150 points on them. DeAnthony Melton only saw 23 minutes of action, so that one was kind of blowout, you know. That was the blowout reasoning rare. Um, 25.5 fantasy score. Fantasy score was definitely the, the right call as he grabbed a steal and assist, um, but couldn't hit a shot. I think he was like one for six. And then Jabari Smith Jr. crushed his line. So, uh, you know, going to try to attack some same value like this. Um, you know, three for six or three for five isn't the worst in the world. As long as we're hitting over that 54% uh, rate, um, we should be profitable in the long run. So we'll take a day like this and uh, always trying to improve. So, Actually, going to be jumping over to Underdog here. If you guys don't have Underdog, you can hit my link in the description. They'll give you a $100 uh, deposit match. Um, that pretty much means if you put 100 bucks in, they're going to give you $100 free to mess around with um, on top of what you put in. So uh, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, if you if you only have prize picks or if you only have Sleeper or something like that, um, I know it can be tough to think, oh, I'm going to put more money into this other platform that I don't know really much about. Um, I was in the same boat at one point, uh, but definitely useful to take advantage of the promos. And they're getting, you know, with this this next 12 days or whatever, next 10 days till Christmas, uh, you know, prize picks, Sleeper, all these, these uh, websites, platforms are doing a bunch of promotions. So uh, Underdog's doing a Freaky Friday today. Uh, where you get 1.5 for Joel, Joel Embiid rebounds, and Ish Smith gets Embiid's rebounding line at 11.5. So pretty much free plays there. You did have to opt into this yesterday. I posted that on my Discord. So um, I'm sure they'll be doing stuff like this. I don't know if Freaky Friday is here to stay, but it could be kind of like a Flex Friday. Uh, but Underdog has, you know, its its pluses as well as, uh, as to prize picks. So we're going to be going over here just because they didn't have some of the lines that I wanted to attack. And the first line we're going to be going to is Trey Young. Let's go to his 9.5 assists going over here. Do you want to go, go over to Outlier? If you don't have Outlier, if you want to try Outlier, if you've seen my videos um, before or if you haven't, this is Outlier. Hit my link in the description for a seven-day free trial. Um, they're awesome. You get to see you know a whole bunch of things, a whole bunch of stats, data on the game, on the player, how they've been doing so far this year in the head-to-head -head matchups with or without certain players on the floor, how the opponent ranks and things like that. So very, very useful tool. Um, I'm seeing Trey Young at a 9.5 here. Uh, at minus 130 odds, which is great to see on a pick'em site like uh, Underdog or Price Picks. Um, 14 to 22 games, he's gone over this line, so love to see it there. In terms of the head-to-head, -head, they've played each other once this year, and he had 10. That's all we need, so um, you know, good, good little, good little data right there. Um, and then also uh, in terms of like what he's done against these guys, the past very many matchups, I mean nine um, in the past two years, three years here. He gets at least nine. So uh, this one should be close, but I, you know, I expect him to go over. The odds are favoring the over as well. And again, he's been going over this line pretty consistent this year. So yeah, liking our chances on Trey Young. Um, in terms of the matchup, like stats overall, Cleveland only allows 24.5 assists per game. Um, but we've seen Trey, you know, been diamond all year. Hasn't had a game under seven assists. So again, this one should be at least close, but I'm expecting the over here. So let's go to other stats um, along the boards. Odds Jam is another one of my partners. Definitely check the link in the description. You can get a seven-day free trial on them as well. And I you know, recommend doing both of these. You can mess around. I use them in unison. Um, so if I see things I like on Fantasy Optimizer, I like to go over to Outlier, see you know how they've been doing so far this year and how that adds up. And then vice versa. Sometimes I see Blaze on Outlier that I like, and I go to Odds Optimizer and say, oh, Odds, odds Jam Optimizer and say, oh, how is that looking on terms of the odds? So they're they're looking at all these different sports books where they got the lines, and we're getting this at 9.5 on Underdog uh, for minus 120 value. 
Pinnacle's got this at minus 135. Caesar's got this at minus 142. So we're definitely attacking some value. Odds Jim has this at 53.89% chance to hit, which is very, very good with these other data points to look at. And then last but not least, let's go to Rotowire. Hit my link in the description, guys. This is totally free right now. It might be free till the end of the year. So take advantage of it while it's free. It's kind of in a beta right now as they, you know, I uh, want to get user feedback and things like that. So hit my link. Uh, let them know that I sent you there. And this t free is or this tool is completely free. Go check it out. Let's go to Trey Young. Um, as you can see, everything favoring the under here for Trey on the day um, in a difficult matchup against Cleveland. He's played these guys well in the past, so I'm not really going to any of his unders. But we do see that his one over pretty much, um, the one that's actually leaning a decent amount, is his assist at 9.5. The predictions on the over, pick'em sites and sportsbooks like we saw, are leaning towards that over. And then Rotowire's got this at a 10.25 prediction. So again, we just need 10. That's what he did back in November, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, like and Trey Young today. So next up, we're going to go in chronological order, like I always do. Um, and let's go to, if I can find my cheat sheet here, let's go to Derek Jones Jr. This one just popped out to me right away. Uh, 1.53 pointers made just seems like very high. Um, I didn't you know, really understand or know that Derek Jones Jr. was turned into a, a high rate uh, three point shooter, but I guess he is. I'm going under here though. Uh, and I'll show you why, you know, he shoots a decent amount of them, um, but typically goes under this line and uh, we'll see what he's been doing so far this year. So over on outlier, let's go to Derek Jones Jr. We're going to go to his under 1.5 three pointers made. And we see he's gone under this in six of the last 10 games. As you can see, he has been shooting them though. Six, uh, he had six threes just the other day, went six for 12 against uh, OKC. So he's definitely been getting them up. In 2023 as a whole, though, under 61% of the games. And when you say, like, or when I was saying, oh, I don't, I didn't know he was, like, a three-point shooter, that's not just me not knowing the game of basketball. But in 2022, it's 91% of the games he went under this uh, one-and-a-half point, three-point line. So uh, he's definitely been shooting them more this year. Um, but can he hit them at, a, you know, a 32% clip? That's not the best in the world. Um, and they're also going up against a defense that doesn't allow a whole lot of threes. Portland, you know, not a very good team right now, but uh, looks like they don't allow a whole bunch of threes, only 10.6 allowed per game. So I really like the spot for Derek Jones Jr. to go under. Um, in the head-to-head, -head, he did play these guys once this year. Um, this was eight days ago, so just a, about a week ago, a little over a week ago, and he only had one against them there. So um, in seven attempts. So again, he shoots pretty poorly uh, from three. He gets them up, but uh, if we can go against a team that doesn't allow a whole bunch of threes or doesn't allow a whole bunch of makes, um, it's a good combo for the under here. So Derek Jones Jr., uh, not just, it's not just me thinking that. Let's go to the odds, see what other sports books are saying about him. Derek Jones Jr., let's go to apply that. And we see that a made three-pointers line is his top line on the board, 53.46% chance to hit. Uh, Fandle's got this at minus 122. Pinnacle's got this all the way at minus 137, minus 135 on Bavada, minus 150 on Fliff. So... Love to see all these data points, um, everyone favoring the under, and we're getting very good value for minus 120 um, on a, on underdog three- or five-man picks, which is what we're doing. We're doing a three-man play on this one. Um, so attacking some value on a good play. And let's go over to Rotowire. Again, check the links in the description for any of these tools, guys. Um, you get free trials on all of them. And then let's go to Derek Jones Jr., see what they're predicting for his threes. And we see they got everything on the under for Derek Jones Jr. Minus one, or sorry, 1 1.5 three-pointers. They're projecting 1.16. So looking good for us. Um, if he gets one, doesn't hurt us. The only way he's hurting us is if he gets two. Let's So let's move on. Uh, last but not least, get that last play in here. Um, we're going to go to Julius Randle. Going to his 27.5 points and assists. I'm going over. After a slow start to the season, he's been absolutely crushing um, this line, but just like in general, we just saw Brunson go for 50, and I believe uh, Randall still got this line that the 27 points and assists. So let's go to Randall, see what he's been doing so far this year. And if you get rid of like the first six games of the season, um, yeah, when I was looking into this, first six games of the season, let's just get rid of those. He was not scoring the ball at all 14, 17, 10, 19, 6, and 16. This is another guy that I have in my fantasy team. I've been, you know, monitoring him all year. And after a very slow start to the season, he's definitely been picking up. Um, so, if, again, if we get rid of these six games, we're dealing with 18 games, and he's gone over in 15 of the last 18 games. So, been crushing this line, is going up against the Clippers. Uh, you know, definitely a solid matchup um, in terms of, like, they're like a good defensive team is what I mean to make, I mean to say. But in the head-to-head, -head, has played these guys uh, about a month or month and a half ago, um, and he had 27-3. So, 
definitely a good spot for him. And again, uh, Brunson just or not, yeah, Brunson just went for 50 piece, and Randall still had 23 and six. Um, so even when Brunson's hooping, you know, Randall's going to chip in with some assists and do his thing down low. No Mitchell Robinson as well. So um, his minutes are very consistent all year, but we're expecting, you know, 35, 36 minutes. And this should be a close game. Looks like the Knicks are plus six favorites. I mean, I know the Clippers are, are clicking right now, um, but the Knicks are a good good team. I, I would almost be inclined to bet that uh, money line um, for the, not even money line, for the spread for the Knicks. Um, yeah, I'd be surprised if they got beat down by, you know, seven plus here so. Uh, yeah, I like the Knicks today. I like Randall. Let's go to the Fantasy Optimizer on Odds Jam. See what other sports books have his line at and kind of compare it to what we're doing. Julius Randall, go ahead and apply. It looks like we got his points line popping up, but it's also on the over, 22.5. So it wouldn't be, you know, mad if you went to that line. Uh, but again, I'm going to the points and assists line. I know he's been doing it, you know, consistently. I think I like the boost with his assist capabilities. Um, you know, he can get a triple-double some of these games. Um, but yeah, he, he definitely dimes the ball a decent amount. 52.15% chance to hit. Uh, looks like pretty consistently at a 125 or a minus 129 over on Caesars. So minus 140 on Flift as well. So um, definitely liking this Randall line. I think there's great value for us on it. But let's go to uh, Rotowire, see what they're projecting, and get that last data point in for us. And we see rebounds and assists is popping up. For the over here, it's 16.15, and the points and assists is actually on the under, 26.13. Uh, so um, this is, again, just one data point. Sometimes I don't have them all in unison when I make a play. I particularly think Randall's going to have a good game against this, these guys. Uh, he's a bigger power forward, not in terms of height, but in terms of strength and size. And going up against, you know, Zubats, going up against Paul George Kawhi, I think he matches up really well against them. And again, we saw him go over against these guys just recently. And uh, the Knicks are a solid team, so I think it should be a dogfight, a uh, good game to watch. And uh, it was Brunson's turn last time, so I think Randall's going to have a good game today. Um, so yeah, that's our three picks. Uh, definitely really liking these ones. If you got into the... Um, if you're in the Discord, definitely check out the Discord if you're not. But if you're in the Discord, I did do an announcement um, to sign up for the Freaky Friday. You know, kind of uh, first time they're doing this. You had to do like a little sign-up sheet. You literally had to click one button pretty much. And then uh, you get access to these pretty much free squares. Obviously, Embiid's going to get more than two rebounds. And Ish Smith's not going to be grabbing 12 boards. So kind of a cool idea. You know, a funny one. If you don't know the movie Freaky Friday, it's when like a mom and a daughter switch places or something or other. Um, but yeah, really liking these picks. Let's go over them real quick. Trey Young, over nine and a half assists against Cleveland. Tough defense, but we've seen him get 10 um, the past two matchups against these guys. And uh, he's coming off a game with 17 against Toronto and then 11 with against Toronto. So good spot for him. Odds are liking it as well. Derek Jones Jr., 1.5 three-pointers made. Just seems like too high of a line. You know, I'd be inclined to go under this even if it was a, oh, at one almost. Um, so I don't think he's getting there. He doesn't shoot very well. Um, but obviously, you know, nothing's guaranteed. Going up against Portland, though, great great matchup for him in terms of going on the under. They don't allow a whole bunch of threes. And then Randall, we just talked about him. Rotowire is projecting a little bit less than this, like 26.1, they were thinking. Um, but everything else is on the over in terms of projections, in terms of the fancy optimizer, seeing what other sports books are saying. And again, 15 and 15 of the last 18 games, he's hit this line. So, yeah, really liking these. Um, I've already submitted these. I always go over my plays visually. I don't just say, oh, I did this. I'm always going in on these plays with you guys. And uh, yeah, check out the Discord, check out any of my links for these tools. Um, you know, they're very useful. You can do your own research. These lines move very quickly. So uh, if you're frustrated and you're watching YouTube videos where, um, especially my videos, where lines are getting bumped all the time, even before you can get the picks in, go check these tools out, guys. They're very easy, very seamless. They make things very easy, color-coded. Um, and yeah, definitely check them out. But let's make some money tonight, guys. A whole bunch of games. Football game on right now to my left, watching that one. Um, we got the... <clears throat> Bengals and we got the Vikings um, both teams quarterbacks are injured pretty much like every other team but yeah I'm rambling here but let's make some money tonight guys and peace out